So let's take a closer look into this congressman's disease, which is TTP-HUS. Just to give a brief background, my name is Dr. Daniel Heckman, and I am a dermatology resident at the Medical College of Wisconsin. I am also a national board reviewer for First Aid and Pathoma, the top two board review companies in the United States. So let's take a look at the mechanism then of TTP and HUS. In everyone's blood vessels, there's a protein called von Willebrand's factor that's normally broken down by an enzyme into smaller subunits. However, in the disease of TTP, these individuals produce antibodies that actually bind to and inhibit the enzyme. Similarly, in a disease called HUS, bacteria release toxins that then inhibit this enzyme. So whether this enzyme is inhibited by an antibody or a toxin, it still is inhibited. And without function of this enzyme, the von Willebrand's factor proteins are not broken down and the blood vessel lumen becomes very narrow. The problem with having a narrow lumen is that red blood cells cannot fit through the blood vessels and smash into the large von Willebrand factor proteins and what's left of them are fragments as we see here. Here's a sample of blood from people suffering from this disease such as the congressman and we see fragments of red blood cells. So the treatment of this disease is to prevent the inhibition of this enzyme which means we have to stop the formation of these antibodies or stop the formation of this toxin. So to stop the antibodies we can administer steroids which prevent the synthesis of antibodies from immune cells. However, once the antibodies and the toxins are already in a patient's bloodstream, the only thing we can do is filter them out through plasmapheresis, which is a quick and effective way to remove the offending agents from the bloodstream and to allow this enzyme to work and thus allow the safe travel of red blood cells through the bloodstream.